How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to Concept Varied Fitness. Today I'm going to give you guys my full in-depth review of the Nano 6.0. The shoe's awesome. We should buy it. Just kidding. I'm the review. So before we get into any specifics, I just want to say that I am an absolute love with these shoes. These shoes uh, surpassed everything that I thought they would. This is literally the most vital CrossFit shoe you could possibly own. So first let's talk about how comfortable these shoes are. Normally when I get my Nano shoes, um, it takes a couple days to break them in. They might be a little uncomfortable, like the arches of your feet might bug a little bit. But when I got these shoes, I, I lo loved them off the bat. They were super comfortable. I ran like a mile a day that I first wore these shoes. I've gone whole days wearing these shoes and they're super comfortable. The outsole is the exact same as the 5, and the insert is the exact same as the 5 as well, so I'm not quite sure what they changed in inside the shoe, but it is super comfortable to me. So going straight from how comfortable these shoes are, let's talk about how they feel running in them. The other day, I ran 4 miles in these shoes. Yes, 4 miles. I've ran pretty long distances in my other Nanos and Metcons before, and my feet will kind of hurt after a little bit. I ran four miles straight non-stop in these shoes. My feet didn't start to ache. They weren't hurting. They weren't on fire. So if you're the type of person that has to wear running shoes when there's a lot of running in a workout or if you go for a jog, this might be the shoe where you can just keep it on the whole entire time during class and be able to run in these as well. So for running and comfortability, these get an A plus in my books. So now let's talk about lifting in these shoes. I've had banana fives. I love them for lifting. I could do my heavy squats, my heavy deadlifts. Um, I've had the Metcon before. I didn't like them because if I did any heavy bar work, I could feel the, the shoe kind of give a little bit and it just wouldn't allow me to have optimal power. With this shoe, I love it just as much as the 5. I am very sturdy. There's no give in the sole. I'm able to do all the heavy bar work and have zero issues come from my shoes. If there's an issue, it's probably with my technique or because I'm really weak. So. <laughs> so for lifting, this is an awesome shoe. If you don't have weightlifting shoes yet, or if there's weightlifting in a workout, but there's also a lot of other things like box jumps and running something where you don't want to wear lifting shoes, this is the shoe you're looking for. Now let's talk about durability. This shoe has a good amount of Kevlar on it, but not as much as the Nano 5. There's a lot more uh, softer fabric along the shoe. On the inside of the shoe, can you see that? Yeah, you can kind of see it. On the inside of the shoes where the black Kevlar is, it's really rough, allowing you to stay really tight when you're doing your rope climbs. But the one flaw I found with these shoes, the way I personally do my rope climbs, I guess I must place them on my foot a little different than how most people do. But if you'll notice here, you'll notice there's kind of scruffing up right here. It's kind of it's kind of hard to tell, but you can, you can definitely see it in the video. It's starting to tear, tear a little bit. To me, it's not the biggest issue in the world. I don't feel like it'll get much worse than that. Um, if I, next time I do rope climbs, I'll kind of check it out and see what's up with that. But other than the rope climb issue, that's the only flaw so far I've found with the shoe. So the fives and the sixes are the same weight as the shoe. So if you've had fives before and you like those, how those feel, they're a very light shoe. They're not the lightest shoe you could possibly uh, have. I've had, I've felt friends Nobles. Nobles are really light. Metcons are pretty light. But for how durable and how hard and all the Kevlar on the shoe, it is very, very light. I don't, you know, notice it when I'm doing toes bar, when I'm doing box jumps. Um, you know, anything where I'm moving my, swinging my feet around or if I'm jumping. These shoes are really light, and I had no issues on these slowing me down with anything. And then overall, just a look at this shoe. Every single year when Reebok makes a new uh, CrossFit shoe, it always looks different. Every year it, has, it makes big changes, um, looks more sleek, looks more modern. These sixes, they look awesome. I love the colors, coming out with a bunch of other colors. They just came out with the all black one with the red bottoms, which is probably my favorite one. I had a pair of fours that color. I wish I was able to snag those, but I already bought these, but I'm happy with these. These are pretty cool too. So overall, very comfortable. You can run in them. You can do your heavy lifting. They're stylish. I can't think of anything wrong with this shoe to be a reason why you should not get it. If you're looking to get your first pair or a new pair of CrossFit shoes, definitely consider getting the Nano 6s. All right, and that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. We post videos funny memes, uh, different content going on in CrossFit, so make sure you follow us there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for plenty more videos, and we'll see you guys next time. I've had the Metcons before, and I didn't like them because if I did heavy back squats, heavy deadlifts, heavy cleans, anything where I had a heavy load on me,